<clears throat> hey, did you record a new video for this week? No, did you? No. Oh. Oh. What's up, you two? Hope you're all doing well. Wow, I've been watching a lot of Peter McKinnon. Anyway, my name is John. You're watching Trail 62. Thanks for tuning back in. I want you to notice something. What don't you see? If you can't figure it out, I don't blame you. Let me play this video. Not looking too good. It's, it's really looking kind of, um, kind of jank. I don't like it. Now tell me what you don't see. Oh yeah, nice and clean. We got the Joby tripod back out. Stop being lazy with that. I got the tripod back out. It's looking good. It's gonna make this thing look so much more appealing. Don't worry, this is gonna be consistent from here on out. We're not gonna have a repeat of the last video. That was, I started editing that video. And I got upset. Like, that was sad. Like, you had this big, huge thing in the frame. That thing being an arm. But anyway, what I want to show you guys is we just got our logo created, done, designed. Check this thing out. Is that not sick? That is absolutely incredible. This was done um, by an artist on a site called Fiverr. I'm sure you've probably heard of it. And... I'm gonna tell you something, I could not be happier with it. I've had some logos created for me before in the past for various different projects. And honestly, I just think this one looks absolutely incredible. And this formats to everything perfectly. I mean, this is honestly, and I kid you not, I've had three to four logos made for me before for a whole bunch of different projects. And this one was done awesome. This was by a girl named, an artist named Rose. And all of her stuff's gonna be linked below. She's not promoting me to do that. She's not asking me to do that as far as She's concerned our business is done just because the thing was completed. But I'm telling you that if you need something completed, if you need a logo done of professional quality, you need to go check her out. And even if a logo isn't what you're looking for, I highly recommend you check out Fiverr. So the number one thing I like about Fiverr is that it has something for everybody. Whether you're looking for graphic design, digital marketing, music and audio, or business analytics, Fiverr has something for you, making it the ultimate site for the independent content creator or entrepreneur. So let's say you're looking for logo design. You come in here, you click on logo design, and it's gonna ask you a whole bunch of specific questions regarding what you want and what you need to help you find the right artist for your job. But even if you're just scrolling around, you can see that price points vary and there's something for everybody. Whether you're looking to pay a lot of money for your professional business or just a couple dollars for your YouTube logo, it doesn't matter, Fiverr has something for you and a lot to choose from. And the other great part about Fiverr is no matter what you're purchasing, no matter how much you wanna pay on your product, you can be assured that the end result is always gonna look incredible and be highly professional and stunning. Everything, every job I've ever had done through Fiverr has come back and absolutely blown my mind. I wouldn't be recommending it to you otherwise. But Fiverr doesn't just stop at logo design. From t-shirts to 3D modeling to Photoshop, web design, digital marketing, resumes, video editing, and even business analytics, Fiverr can complete the job that you need done. And here's the thing. If Fiverr wasn't absolutely productive, efficient, and incredibly secure, I would not be recommending it to you. But when it comes to freelance sites, this is one of the best ones you could possibly go with. And from hundreds and hundreds of job opportunities to choose from, no matter what it is you need, the artist, the animator, the designer is on here to complete your job. And here's the other best part. If you click the link in the description below, you're gonna get 20% off your first order. So let's say you're trying to make a YouTube channel brand, That's and you go on a $5 logo animation. That's 20% off of $5, you're paying virtually nothing, and all of a sudden your brand goes to the next level. People have something they can attribute to your name. 20% off your first order, click the link below, go over to Fiverr, and just see what incredible work they could do for you. But enough of all that stuff for now. However, the one thing I'm most excited about with the new logo is now we can do something I've always wanted to do. This. Boom. I really hope I'm looking at it. I think I am. But look in the corner. That thing, always wanted to put the little watermark. And now with a logo as incredible as that, it would just be dumb not to. But overall, I think it's about time we got into the real meat of this video. I don't like the way I worded that. Let's get into the main point about this video. So in a few days time, I'm gonna be doing something that it's actually been a while since I've done just because of timing. Like it's been a good couple weeks uh, since I've gone fishing. And two days we're gonna be doing some fishing. We're gonna be doing some smallie fishing, smallmouth fishing that is back home at a local stream that I really like. It's normally pretty good. So I think we should be relatively successful. 
However, I thought it'd be a good time to go over what we brought in the college fishing bag to give an idea of what that's gonna look like. So this is the Black Hawk Block Bag. Um, this is a bag I got for hiking a couple years back and I decided to make it my fishing bag, uh, at least for this semester. And I'm gonna tell you what, this bag is incredible. Whether you need a fishing bag, you need a hiking bag, you need a bug out bag, probably not a book bag, but if you can make it work, I'll applaud you. Um, other than that, this bag really kind of works for everything because of the internal system, which we'll get to in a minute. But first, let me show you what we have on the outside of the bag. So first things first is the Ugly Stick GX2, um, like a $60 rod. These rods aren't like anything super special. You can find them anywhere. But I felt for college where something might get broken, something might get stolen. Also, it breaks down into two pieces so I can fit it in the bag really easy. I just feel like it's going to be our best bet. And so far, I'm really happy with it. Medium weight. Um, fast action it's got the, t the the cool like tip on it um, overall I think it's the right rod broken stolen easy to take apart it should be good to go as far as reels are concerned we went with the Abu Garcia reel this came with another Abu Garcia rod that I got for my birthday a couple years back uh, it's a 12 12 pound uh, braid and also we have about eight pound uh, fluorocarbon for the leader um, this is just a great reel it's it's I just like it a lot um, and it's another one of those reels that it's not ridiculously expensive so if something were to happen to it hope it doesn't but if something were to happen to it overall it's gonna be okay so let's take a look at the front of the bag as you see you have all the molly webbing so this bag comes with a whole bunch of these little pouches and the inside essentially looks the exact same as this and you can strap these pouches um, in any sort of configuration that you need to so the first thing I have is I have two uh, the uh, the paracord um, bracelets I really like these. I don't think you can have ever too many of these uh, lying around. And so basically I use those to kind of hold this one shut. And also when I have this zippered over, it helps keep the rod in place um, as well. So we'll go ahead and take these off. And let's go ahead and take a look in the front pouch. Also, I'll mention they have these little slots so you can put labels in if you want to label stuff. So in here is very simple. A flashlight. And also just some allergy capsules in case you get into something. Um, this is basically, this used to be my medical pallet when it was my hiking kit, and I just kind of left these two things in here uh, just in case. It's not really fishing related, just more so if I need a flashlight or something, whatever, that's kind of in there. This pouch has a lot more room for expansion. So let's go ahead and flip it around. As you can see, you can clip a whole bunch of stuff to the actual straps, they're very durable. And up here, I just have a, a compass and a whistle and a thermometer. Basically, if I ever need it, it's there. Don't expect to, but I have it just in case. So let's go ahead and we'll actually open up the bag. Uh, the one thing I will mention is in the front of the bag, it comes with this zippered pocket. And this zippered pocket's really great. Um, basically, I used to put my camel pack in there or any sort of hydration system you might have. Works really well on the front pocket of this bag. Pull it around over the top of the, the drinking nozzle, put it through the, uh, the straps, and you're really set and good to go. Let's open up the bag. So the first main thing that you're gonna notice is this tackle box right here. It's the only one, the official one that I brought. This is just a very small assortment of bass lures. Uh, we have our top waters, spinner baits. We have one jig that needs to get worked on. No, two jigs, it's two jigs, but in the green pumpkin color, probably get some blue ones. Um, you know, all the other kind of baits in there, the cranks, everything like that. And overall, it's just kind of a simple, hard bait uh, bass kit that I've put together. It's, it's really didn't take me that long to do. Um, I don't do a whole lot of largemouth fishing. That's why that's not extensive. It's just kind of the extent of my largemouth lures. Then the next thing you're gonna notice is we have this fly box. This is kind of the extent of my flies right now. Fly fishing is something I really want to get more into. We have a lot of egg patterns. I actually got all those from one eBay seller. I went on a steelhead run a couple years ago up at the Great Lakes. Uh, didn't really end successfully, but we got a lot of flies uh, in the egg pattern, so that's good. Uh, your classic dry flies. And then over here we have, again, some more egg patterns. Copper John's, kind of my favorite. The pheasant tails um, and a number of other flies. Prince, um, nymphs and stuff like that. Caddis hairs. And these are some streamers that I bought for uh, smallmouth fly fishing. Uh, San Juan worm, you can't go without that. Anyway, these are some streamers that I bought for smallmouth fly fishing. I know nothing about it. It's just something I know I want to get more into. So I kind of bought this stuff. No success with it so far, but um, we'll kind of see how that plays out later on. But I really want to get more into smallmouth fly fishing. So if you have any information on that, please let me know. Also, this fly, I found that out actually on a stream, hooked onto a log. So that was an awesome find. So that's that. 
you know, two turkey calls, because you never know when you need to call a turkey when you're fishing for trout or any other species, because why not? And then, as you can see, this, this bag, when you buy it, I'll, it'll be linked down below. It comes with seven, I, be, I believe it's seven different pouches. I don't have all of them in here right now for space, but you can move them and, and customize them, take them out, put them back in, do what you got to do. Um, and it just works really well for a highly customizable bag, um, no matter what it is you're kind of looking to do. So over in this section, this is all of our soft plastics. So again, it's just kind of a really simple selection. Worms, uh, I call these tubers. Uh, it's just, that's what everyone calls them around with me. So we got a whole bunch of those because they work really well for the smallmouth in this area. It's the way I like to fish for them. I prefer using soft plastics. Uh, I just find it's, for me, what I know how to do best uh, with, with not a lot of experience in bass fishing. I've been more of a saltwater person and trout fishing, trout fisherman myself. So that's what works well for me. That's all my soft plastics. Over here, this is all gear. We have some line, we have some hooks, we have pliers, we have scissors, we have a stringer if we ever need it, all that kind of stuff, that type of tackle, terminal stuff is in there. And then up in these two top pouches, this is some more fly stuff. Uh, we have a little bit of tippet and we have some bobbers and that's actually my fishing license in there. And then finally, okay, this is all the other fly stuff. We have the, the stuff to put on the dry flies so don't sink, more uh, tippet, leader material, stuff like that. Uh, a couple bobbers back in there. And overall, the bag, the bag really works well. It's it's the kind of thing where it keeps everything condensed. It keeps it really organized. I'm not fishing through a normal backpack looking for it. And it just allows me to be really efficient. It, I know where everything is. Um, and it also just keeps it really condensed in a dorm environment where you don't have a lot of space. You don't want to have this stuff lying around. I have this behind a shoe rack uh, over on behind me in the back side of the room. And I really like this bag. Highly recommend it fishing, hiking, bug out field stuff for hunting um whatever it is you need uh, a pack for the black hawk block bag again will be linked down below it's it's really a win-win bag we found this actually in a local my dad found this for me about five years ago i think in a local gun stop gun shop we couldn't find him anywhere he found it there and he picked it up and i think it was a christmas present for me so it's pretty cool and thank you for that um but no this bag's great and for what we're using it for that's really you couldn't ask for any better I think the number one thing, especially when you're trying to prepare a fishing bag for college, is it's all about efficiency. I have a lot more gear at home, a lot more stuff I could have brought, but you have to think about what are you actually going to be using up where you are. 17 minutes away from me is a huge lake. I can be doing a lot of bass fishing there. And also there's a number of small streams around me for trout fishing, smallmouth fishing, stuff like that. So basically I brought gear that was suited to that type of fishing. I didn't bring my heavy catfish stuff. Why? Because I'm not going to be doing any big catfishing around here. So really, you just have to kind of understand what it is you need, kind of take the bare essentials to get the job done and not your entire tackle box. I really recommend the backpack is because it's a lot slimmer than the tackle box. You can throw it on your back. You got everything you need, whereas like a big tackle box, um, I have a couple at home, like those old school red ones that like flip up, you know what I'm talking about, or even some of the more like serious ones. Um, they're just kind of clunky. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for a dorm room. If it works for your situation, great. All, all that matters that you have it all condensed in my opinion. But I think something like the block bag really works well, um, especially with that compartmentalized system. Keeps it organized and keeps it all really compressed down so I can throw it in a corner and it's not getting in my way. And if I, as long as I don't pick it up, it, I really don't have to worry about it. Um, so that's ultimately the way I would recommend to do it is understand what you need, find a way to condense it down and find a way to kind of carry it all together. Um, and it's just gonna make your life so much easier and you won't have to worry about losing as much stuff. You won't have to worry about stuff getting stolen because you didn't bring your entire arsenal. Like I wouldn't bring your St. Croix rods or anything like that, um, but just kind of really narrow it down to what you need and figure out how to pack it efficiently so that you can easily get out to the stream, come back, throw it away like in the room and you're set and good to go to continue with your schoolwork, whatever it is you need to do. I hope you can hear that because I have no idea what that is. So this is the entire system. Uh, it works really well. It's a great way to keep it all condensed. Uh, I just throw it behind that shoe rack when I'm done with it and we're good to go. And overall, since that whatever is going on out in the hallway, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I know it's kind of short, but I think some short videos every now and again, there's nothing wrong with it. So I hope you found something useful. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, feel free to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. The entire mantra that you've heard a million times before, 
you know the drill. If you like it, stick around. We'd love to have you. Um, thanks for watching Trail 62. Stay tuned for the next couple of days. We're going to be going fishing. And guess what? Hunting season's getting really close. We're almost there. But if you guys have watched or subscribed from this point on, um, I really appreciate it. Appreciate all your support. Leave a like for that new logo. Go check out Fiverr in the description. Go check out the block bag. And after that, I'll see you in the next time. Thank <laughs> you.